Well, I was born on a farm over near Odessa. My dad died when I was a young boy, and uh, and so uh, my mother insisted that I go to college, and and I um, went to the university not knowing what I was going to do, and I ended up being a funeral director, and I've been a funeral director for 55 years. When I was a young boy, there was a up at Ortonville. The uh, newspaper in Ortonville was, was owned by the Karcher family. And Jim Karcher, uh, at, in, back in the 50s, he had a, a uh, 55 Thunderbird. And boy, I really thought that was the cat's meow. And so uh, when it, I got to thinking about it in later years, and I decided to look into it. I had a 57 first. Uh, I bought down in Minneapolis. Uh, 30 years ago. Uh, simply, I like uh, these little birds, but it needed a lot of work. So I found this car in Michigan, Detroit, Michigan. So I flew to Michigan and, and I purchased it there. And then I had two cars for a while. And then I sold the 57 to a man out in South Dakota. And he's since has corresponded with me and he's very happy. He's formed a car club out there and and it's been that way ever since. It's been totally uh, uh, the body off the frame. Every nut and bolt has been removed and re replaced, the transmission, the motor. It's, it's really a new car. Runs like a new one. The big difference in the 56 is what I like about it is they came with a continental kit. 55s and 57s, you could not put one on. They weren't designed for it at all. And here's where you fill in your gas and uh, you open the trunk up and uh, then when you're done with filling gas, you push the, the tire back up like that. Fact is, they, uh, we hang that uh, Continental tire out of the back bumper. The steering even got a little light. So uh, 56s were redesigned to, to carry a Continental kit, and I just thought they looked neat. You could buy a convertible top and a hard top like I have, and the convertible top was manual. You just pulled it up by your hand. And I think Ford offered it in two colors because he had a lot of canvas in those two colors. And so he wasn't gonna spend any extra money. I, and I think they're black and white. The 56 came with the porthole in the top. You had noticed the top hanging there. Uh, they didn't do that in 55, but in 56 and 57, they all had the portholes, which was kind of unique. You couldn't put them in the trunk, they were too big, so you had to take the top off and leave it at home. So you didn't want it to rain while you are gone. This car was actually sold in uh, Los Angeles to a dealer in Los Angeles. And I've got the actual invoice that was on the sticker on the window. I think it total price was $2,800, something like that. 